Today I want to talk to you about why I'm excited that interest rates are on the rise. Welcome back everybody to Drawbridge Finance. My name's Levi and this is an opinion channel about money. As I mentioned before, I'm pretty excited because interest rates are on the rise. Now for those of you who don't follow the news, yesterday the Bank of Canada said that they were going to raise the prime interest rate by 25 basis points. What this means is that the, the prime lending rate is moving from 1.25% to 1.5%. That also means that the five major banks in Canada, in fact all banks across Canada, are, go are going to raise their prime lending rate. So to give you an example, RBC's interest rate yesterday rose from 3.45% up to 3.7%. Now, to me, this is fantastic news because I actually don't carry any debt other than my mortgage, and my mortgage is currently locked in at a fixed interest rate, which means that yesterday's interest rate, rate hike doesn't affect me at all. I, I don't have any student loans, I don't ho have a home equity line of credit, I don't have a regular line of credit, that I use anyways. And so what that really ultimately means is that I'm gonna start making more money off of that interest rate rising because people are going to be spending more money on interest and it means that the banks are going to make more money from the population of Canada. Now you might wonder why the interest rates are rising and really it's a good sign for our, our country because it means that we're in a good economic situation. When interest rates rise, it means the government has made a decision to say, hey, we need to like keep inflation down. We need to keep the cost of living down. So we have to raise the interest rates just slightly so that people will spend a little bit more money on interest and they'll be a little bit more frugal with their, their spending. So if there's less money to spend, then it keeps the prices or the cost of living down. So. It's a really good sign for us. I mean, we right now in Canada, in fact, globally, we have a good economic system in place in most of the major countries. We have a low unemployment rate, especially here in Canada, and these are two major factors. So this is the fourth time that the government has decided to raise the interest rates in Canada in the last year. Ultimately, what it does is it puts more money into the pocket of the banks. And as you guys know, if you watch my videos or have for a while, you know that I have 14 rules of investing. And rule number two is invest in financial institutions, not their products. So I am a firm believer in investing in these bank stocks or credit unions or whatever you guys want to invest in. Ultimately, it's a bit hard to do that. And I'm going to give you guys two strategies today that will help you make the most money that you can off of investing in those banks. So if we look at most of the big banks, they pay right now a dividend yield of around four and a half to five and a half percent annually. And that is not a high enough dividend yield for me. I'm a, long, a high yield dividend investor and I want a dividend yield of somewhere between six and 10 percent. So if I buy CIBC stocks for $115 and they're going to reward me with a dividend for the next year of around 4.5%, that's not high enough for my liking. So there's two things you can do. You can purchase stock. Say you purchase 100 shares of CIBC and so that costs you $11,500. Then you can sell a covered call on that. We could, we could sell a covered call for maybe $120, and if the stock stays below that $120, we keep the premium, and we can just continue to repeat that call, that selling that covered call repeatedly, and bump our yield boost. It's, that's kind of how I term it, it's like a yield boost. We've got our dividend yield, and then we're gonna boost it by, by selling the covered call on top of the shares that we already own. That takes a bit of work. You have to log in each month and actually sell the calls. You also put yourself at a little bit of a risk of if the stock runs up a lot, you're limiting your potential upside. So if the, the price of the stock goes up to 125 bucks and you have $120, have $120 call on it, you're only gonna get $120 for a stock that has gone up to $125. So you've missed out on some of that profit. But it is a way to like regularly get income on top of the dividend that you're already receiving. So that's one way to do it. 
But there's a simpler way, and this is the way that I like to do it, and that is to buy companies that, that use your money to purchase bank stocks and sell the covered calls and to sell put options themselves. So they're an investment firm that takes your money and they, and they sell those options for you. The crazy thing about it is that they reward their shareholders with like super high dividends. So as an investor, I can buy the stock and the stocks are way cheaper. We can get them for like eight, 10, $15 a share instead of 115 for CIBC shares. So you can buy more of them. And then the yield is gonna be like eight to 10%, depending on which one you buy. So that's the way that I like to do it. Buy the companies that invest in the banks because we know the banks are making money. They're being super profitable. They sell the options, they make the money, and they reward you as a shareholder. So everybody's making a lot more money off that, and it's way easier investment. Anyways, if you guys are interested in doing that, as always, you can follow me on Patreon. You can see the trades that I'm making real time. On the day that I make the trade, I put it. In, I put that information onto my Patreon account. So all of my patrons, they get to see what I'm trading and that way we can all just get rich together. Thanks so much. See you soon.